I grew up in Australia in a place called Shark Bay. Shark Bay? Shark. Shark. Like a shark, Danny. Danny. Shark Bay. It never dawned on me how stupid this was. When I was a teenager, the local government realised that no tourists were coming to the area. For obvious reasons. So they changed the name to Safety Beach. That was their big move to bring tourists in. They did nothing to improve safety. There's still sharks there, a lot of them. Now they're just luring tourists into a death trap, basically. Like, yeah, no, come in. No, it's Safety Beach now. It's totally fine. Go, go swim, yeah. No, that's not a shark. It's a safety shark. It's a dolphin. Get out there. I was, I was surfing one day with some friends and we came in and the lifeguard came up to us like a professional lifeguard and he goes, hey guys, come and take a look at this. And he took us up the lifeguard tower, we looked down and there was 50 sharks <laughs> under where we were just surfing. And he went, yep, there's 50 sharks there. I counted them myself. That's <laughs> what the lifeguard said to me and I just said, oh, well perhaps. You should have said something to us. <laughs> See that loudspeaker you've got there that broadcasts across the beach? Maybe when you were counting the sharks. <laughs> and you got up to, I don't know, like seven. <laughs> Seven's a large number of sharks. You could have jumped on the loudspeaker and gone, hey guys, just letting you know I'm up here counting sharks. I'm up to seven. It looks like there's about seven times more than that plus one. <laughs> Just an initial estimate at this stage. You guys seem fine for now. I'll let you know how it's going. Small things I need to get used to in this country. The whole of the country hangs up the phone exactly the same way. Did you know that? I'm generalizing here, yes. This is how you all hang up the phone. You're in the middle of a conversation and you just go, mmm, bye, click, that's it. <laughs> okay then, mmm, bye, click, out. <laughs> Everyone in Australia says goodbye four times. I don't know why, we just do. We go, okay, yep, see ya, bye. It's like, okay, are, are we done here? Are we wrapping things up? Yep, we're in agreement. See ya, we're really doing this? Bye, then out. <laughs> Not you guys, you don't have time for that. You don't have time for four goodbyes. <laughs> and every time I'm on the phone and you guys just go, mmm, bye. <laughs> okay, see ya, I need it, I need confirmation. Are we done with the call? <laughs> You're overly helpful. Overly helpful when giving directions. <laughs> I don't need your life story, okay? Uh. If you ask someone for directions in Australia, like you go, oh, where's the library? I don't know who's going to the library these days, but if you say, oh, where's the library? They'll go, oh, it's just down there. And you are expected to walk down to where they just pointed. Find someone else in the vicinity of the area and say, where's the library? And they go, it's there, you idiot. And you go, oh, okay. Two people, you just ask. If you ask someone for directions in America, it's like they have to tell you about a quest you need to go on. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where the library is? Okay, buddy, what you're gonna wanna do is go south on Hauser. <laughs> 50 feet, take a little left down this little alleyway, this little cake stall there. You wanna get yourself a cake to keep your energy levels up for the rest of the trek. Okay, just shut up. I'm an adult, point me in the right direction and I'll figure it out for myself. 